Hey everybody, Ramblin' Pam here. In recent years, Arches National Park has started requiring that you have a reservation in order to visit the park. But sometimes even with the reservation, the lines can be really long. But did you know that there's actually a back way into the park? It doesn't require any reservations and there are no lines. We start out on US Highway 191. A short distance past the Arches National Park main entrance is the turnoff for the Willow Springs Trail Utah Raptor State Park and the Dinosaur Track Site. We're going to take you along as we drive Willow Springs all the way into Arches National Park. At the beginning of the trail, you can see there's dispersed camping in the area. A lot of this trail is on BLM land. It's marked on your map as BLM 378. Next, we came across a couple of sandy spots in the road. Some have suggested airing down your tires, but we did not. We just kept it steady and made it just fine. About three and a half miles into the trail, we arrived at the dinosaur track site. These sauropod and theropod tracks were made about 165 million years ago. As you can see, there's quite a few tracks. Here's an interpretive board where you can take some time to read about the history. This was a really interesting stop. After you pass this area, there are a few rocky spots in the trail where you'll need to carefully maneuver. We had to get out and uh, spot, have you spot us, yeah. uh, two places I think. Yeah, and where, you'll see that in the video. Where wheel placements. Uh, you have to be careful with them. and you'll see on the rocks uh, where we're talking about where there's <laughs> where, scrapes from other people that went down there and, yeah and there's a few vehicle parts and stuff yeah. that uh, people weren't careful where they went down and they didn't have good uh, departure angles yeah show me where I want the driver's side wheel there passenger over here so we come down right here and this yeah, is what we don't here. we don't want to come down here and you scrape the scrapes you can see the auto parts there oh you okay come down right over here This is the entrance to Arches National Park. As you can see, it's just an open gate with a sign that tells you you are now entering Arches National Park. You do need a permit when you come in the back way too. We do have a, what is it, the America the Beautiful? Yeah, we have a lifetime, lifetime. America the Beautiful. Yeah, so. so we have a permit, but 
There wasn't any booth or anything when you yeah. come in this way. You, and you, you come in uh, by Balanced Rock. You yeah. exit right by Balanced Rock. No reservations no required. Reser no reservations. No wait and no waiting. Yeah. And uh, instead of seeing asphalt, you just see beautiful country. Yeah. A short distance from here is where the dirt trail meets the paved road. You're officially in the park at Balanced Rock. Another thing to note, we have Verizon and had cell service off and on for most of the trail. This was a pretty quick, it didn't take us very long, and this way, you don't wait in line, you don't need to go to the pay booth. Right, you know, it, I think sometimes it's an hour to wait to get in the park. Yeah. It took us less than an hour to drive in the dirt road. Spent more time looking at the dinosaur footprints yeah. than we did driving in. Yeah. But it's seven and a half miles of dirt road. Yeah, you could do all-wheel drive uh, high clearance. There's a couple, uh, you know, 12-inch uh, ledges and stuff, but not not bad. Then there, after that, then there's a kind of a pretty uh, level, smooth dirt road. Though. Yeah, it was a it was a beautiful drive. Yeah, in, didn't but it? it was really pretty. It was yeah, fun. If, you, if you have the vehicle that can make it, yeah. that, that's the way to come in. Yeah. As we exited the park through the main gate, you can see the line of cars waiting to get in. Willow Springs Trail is a fun, alternate way to visit Arches National Park. As for us, we're on our way back to base camp. Thanks for joining us. Bye.